Hello, my sparkles of light. It is I, Cherry Enchantress. <laughs> I am here to uh, show you a flip through. So I'm sure a lot of you have this deck already and you're probably surprised why I don't have it yet. A lot of people have this Spirit Animal Oracle and almost all of Colette's decks would be a good thing to have in one's collection. So I'm slowly but surely getting there. And this is one that I've wanted to get for a very long time and now I finally have it in my collection and I will like to show you the flip through. So <clears throat> this box first of all is really cool. I didn't expect this and it's really big. It's one of those you know magnetic boxes and and so yeah here's a little thing that says the spirits residing in the natural world have much to share and the secrets of their forgotten language are now available to you. And so here is the guidebook, first of all. Nice chunky guidebook as well. So I'll look through that in a minute. And nice way to get the cards out as usual. Beautiful backing. Let me take that off real quick. Okay, take that off. And so now you can see a little better the backing. Let's just move that box over here. See, it's very nice, very pastel. So that's probably one of the reasons why I just didn't get it at this time of the year. And I should have gotten it earlier during the spring pastel season of the year. But still, this is um, this is perfect. So let's take a look at the book. I think I need to tilt down a little bit. That'll be easier for reading. So let's see, we've got the introduction. This is an oracle as a form of wise guidance, a way to have direct communication with spirit and your highest self for the highest good. And working with these cards daily as a spiritual practice will allow you to make better decisions. Feel supported and witnessed by a power greater than yourself and help you reclaim your in innate natural gift of intuitive insight. And it's funny, you know, like when I, when I do readings for you, I'm, I'm, I know that you guys appreciate it because I hear a lot of, you know, read a lot of beautiful comments, but really it helps me too, you know, it helps lighten my mood, it helps me have a better perspective on the world and, and life and everything. By helping you, I'm helping myself too. So we're kind of in this together as sparkles of lights are we're working together to make it a better place. And that's the point of these these pick of cards and these readings. It it is to get to answers for sure, but in a general sense you all have the answers within you, you know. I'm just your, you know, I'm just the Good Witch of the North, and you all are the Dorothys out there with your ruby slippers. So, how to work with the Spirit Animal Oracle. So, a little information on that. Gentle warning. Do not try to find certainty in a future that has not transpired as of yet or you rob yourself of your own power to create your world see this is true in general of everything you know keep your keep everything open and fluid and flowing things can change just like manifestation can make things happen quicker than originally predicted and lack mentality can push feelings further away than originally intended and then we've got free will and all these different people involved in our world that can c create differences and changes that to an outcome. So Colette's right. These are just guides and assistants. And um, one of the f earliest things that Melanie ever said was what she liked about it is that instead of predictive, it is more of a um, prescriptive it's like medicine it's it's help it's for healing and education and mind opening <laughs> and you know cl clearing your your chakras and focusing and guiding yourself to, in the right direction helping so here we have all the different definitions of the different cards and that's what this is all about you guys 
So I know there's a, a few, there's, I mean, you guys, like 90% of you are super sweet and supportive of me and you get it, you know, you really do get it. You know what it's about. But there are those that are the naysayers. Oh, look, here's the answer. 42, otter spirit, you are never alone. <laughs> it's kind of funny, otter spirit. Mine was actually the beaver that I met when I had this personal journey to figure out who my spirit animal was. Yeah, so I, I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But that's sweet. You are never alone. Panther spirit. And, uh, you know... Looking at these makes me feel real connected to Melanie because it was a lot of these um, cards that that um, connected me to her right right away, you know. So animals are all around us, guiding us, just as our ancestors and our angels, spirits, saints. <laughs> Now, you know, I've got the saints, now I'm going to get the animals going, and you're going to be so em embraced by warm, loving spirit energies out there, you won't be able to make a single bad decision, but that's not true. Even even wrong decisions are good decisions sometimes, you know, we got to learn somehow. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way, it's true, because sometimes learning the hard way really amplifies what we're not supposed to do, you know? And then, and so there you go. So let's take a look at the beautiful cards. So as, I, as you can see, this back again, the backing. And then here we go. I'm going to like split them up. So ooh, look at the lion. The lion spirit. These are so gorgeous. I love Colette's art, um, the, the, the um, uh, artist that she uses all the time. So here's the ant spirit. This is my first time looking at them, so they might be a little sticky. Just saying. Let's clear the little spot here. Antelope spirit. Armadillo spirit. <laughs> I have a funny joke about armadillos. Armadillos are Texas um, road humps. <laughs> okay, sorry armadillo, but yeah, you guys get in the way a lot. Badger spirit. Bat spirit. That is so beautiful. <laughs> I love this bat. How pretty is it? It looks prettier upside down. The colors on this is so pretty. The beaver spirit, there he is, the beaver. Oh, I got goosebumps from the beaver. I think the beaver really is my spirit. Does it, is that weird? The beaver, let me tell you, anybody else out there that resonates with the beaver, lay a solid foundation, that's nice. And it's all about the hard work and community and how all the beavers work together to to create this, you know, create the dams and things, but it's just amazing on, um, you know, what these these little tiny beings can do with big logs, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's about hard work and community spirit. And so for, I don't know if we have the same spirit animal always, forever, every single day, or they change as we grow and progress, but um, when I was looking into mine, it was the beaver who called to me, and so it did. So it was perfect and perfect timing. And so I'll tell you how I, it, you know, you can skip past this if you want. But, okay, so the one of my favorite books is Psychic Intelligence by the Jameson Twins. And you've heard me talk about that before. It has all kinds of things in it, specifically numerology and the sequence numbers, which I adore. It also ha tells you, um, talks a little bit about dreams and dream symbols and animal symbols. And then there's a section on how to connect with your spirit animal. And so there's a meditation that you can do. And it's like, you just have to kind of clear your mind once you go through this clearing process and the relaxation process that you might normally do when you meditate. If you ha don't have a normal meditate, um, you know, clearing process, then they're easy to find. And then once you get relaxed, then you kind of see like uh, just kind of a blank canvas, just white. You know, you don't see anything at all, just a white field. 
and then you, in the far distance, you see a door, and then you walk closely to the door, and the closer you get to the door, then you see a creature. It doesn't have to be your spirit animal right away, but there's a creature at the door, and the creature at the door will open the door. Then once you walk through, then you will see, you're supposed to see your spirit animal, or <laughs> this creature will lead you to your spirit animal. So for me, I saw the beaver right away at the door. And I was like, okay, the beaver my animal? Or I'll, I'll find out. So I walked through the door and followed the beaver. And the beaver was running along, and I followed him through the forest. And then I just saw, um, you know, beavers building a dam and the whole community and all of that. And so that's how I, <laughs> that's how I identified with the beaver spirit. spirit. So... That's my little story and how I discovered mine. There's all kinds of ways you can discover your spirit animal. And and I think it maybe it can change. You know, my sister in law thinks that I'm I'm the bunny spirit. The the rabbit is my spirit. So that's possible too. The I'm glad I got I'm glad I got these because these are just so beautiful. The brown bear. <laughs> I like the bear spirit, the buffalo, butterfly, it's going to be fun to use these, canary spirit, what's nice is like, I. oh look, I played the flute, <laughs> it's got a little crown on its head, how cute, cat spirit, I am surrounded by cats, I tell you what, a lot of little independence Independent kittens running around in keys, chameleon spirit. But I, I appreciate independence for sure. Cow spirit is cute. Miracles are endless. Coyote spirit. You see, I'm talking to these animals like, <laughs> oh, coyote spirit. Like um, you know, like babies. Like they're just so. Beautiful, you know, this so divine. Just like children are, you know. If I had a deck of children, I'd be crying over them. <laughs> so crow spirit, that makes me think of Melanie too, because she feels really connected with crows and blackbirds and birds. Deer spirit. And the deer. I love the deer. You know, the, I, I saw a deer on that that path that I walked that one day, that was just so beautiful. And I've seen um, bucks and deers a lot as symbols to me. So yeah, this deer has a lot, ha is very strong in, as, as symbols in my life too. Dog spirit, so cute. Be loyal to what you love. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Dolphin spirit. This one's very nice and water, like free form watercolor. Ooh, dove spirit. There's my love doves. Be peace. Peace is important to me. Does that have a crown? Yeah, it's like a little crown on its head. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. So these are nice. They, they, they'll go nicely with the charms too if we use the animals plus the charms get some extra meanings there the eagle spirit spirit has your back so I like, I like the eagle too because that's like a Scorpio symbol it's like the high level of Scorpio electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life elephant I love elephants learn from the past so that's another good way to interpret the little elephant charm. Learn from the past. Flamingo spirit. <laughs> Embrace the in-between. Fox spirit. Think on your feet. That's pretty. Frog spirit. So you have frogs a lot too in the charms. Clear out the clutter. So that's good. Now, I always call it good luck, but that could mean the frog, when the frog comes out, it says it means clear out the clutter. Giraffe spirit. The giraffe is special to my daughter. She 
resonates with the giraffe because she's tall and beautiful. See the big picture. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. I love all these animals with crowns on their heads. <laughs> it's like the royal grasshopper. Aw, groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Hawk spirit. That's another variation of eagle, which also resonates with Scorpio. Horse spirit. Freedom is yours. And I have a few horses, too, in the charms. Ooh, I love the hummingbird. I want to get, I, I want to be able to track some hummingbirds. I love them. They're so pretty. Be here now. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. I like that. And koi fish spirit. There's always enough. There you go, you guys. I hope you like that. Now, oh, the koi fish float goes good and with the fall colors, doesn't it? Oh, dang. <laughs> that was only half the deck. <laughs> and now we have the second half of the deck. Lion spirit. Lizard spirit. I'll tell you what, this is the most comprehensive deck of animal animal um, spirits you can get. And it wasn't that expensive, honestly. So you guys like it, I recommend it. Moth spirit. The moth, there was a moth that flew against my window that about a month ago. It was interesting. Surrender now. <laughs> Surrender, Dorothy. Mouse spirit. I thought this was a possum. I was going to, I was starting to shudder. <laughs> Tend to the small things. Nightingale spirit. Aww. Sing sweet nightingale. The otter spirit is 42. And you are never alone. Okay, my divine masculine, I feel you. 43, owl spirit. You see clearly now. I love the whites. So fluffy. Panther spirit. That's very beautiful. Reclaim your power. Parrot spirit. Watch your words. <laughs> Peacock spirit. Let it shine. Pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Porcupine spirit. Time for beginner mind. Interesting. Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Rhino spirit. Look how pretty that rhino is. How can you make a rhino so beautiful? Overcome any obstacle. Sandpiper spirit. Be playful. That's cute. Scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. Magic certainly does work for your low scarabeo, which is Italian for beetle. Or maybe it's scarab beetle, um, Italian for scarab beetle. But they are one of the best producers out there of tarot decks. And that's a pretty cool name that they got there. And a pretty cool spirit animal they got. <laughs> Seahorse spirit. I'm going to zoom in on the scarab beetle again. And, and also, uh, the scarab beetle pops up in, in the um, tarot sexual magic as, as like a very beautiful symbol of union. Seahorse spirit. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. Snake spirit. Time to heal. Spider spirit. Make your dreams real. That's neat. Could use that for Halloween. Squirrel spirit. Stag spirit. See, the stag came to me. I love the stag. There's that beautiful Fantasia short with um, the stag and the fairy. Take the lead. 
This dad comes up a lot in the Ancestors and Angels deck that I have. Starfish Spirit. Oh gosh, I have so many starfish too in, in the charms. Open it to infinite possibility. Swan Spirit. Very connected to the swan too. Time for a deep dive. <laughs> Turkey spirit, yay! I'm gonna pull out the turkey spirit for Thanksgiving. Give with gratitude and grace. Turtle spirit, I have a lot of turtles in my charms too. Slow and steady wins the race. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. I appreciate the vultures because we get a lot of animals, dead animals out there. And they Clean them away. Wasp spirit. Whale spirit. I have this as a charm as well. Trust the great mystery. White raven spirit. Interesting. Trust the magic. Wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. And wombat spirit. Okay, now I'm officially done. <laughs> so there you go. Lizard spirits. Wombat spirit, they're all very beautiful in our in our world. These animals, the way they touch us, spirit guides of all sorts are here for us. So I hope you enjoyed that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.